and I, you are your soul. Like a lot of people say, are you the re to me? Are you the reincarnation of Jesus? I'm sorry, no, I'm not. I am Jesus. I just happen to be reincarnated. My soul is the same soul that it was all the time. Exactly the same soul. Your soul will never change. Aside from growing, I mean. It will never change. You won't become another person just by reincarnating at some point in the future. You won't become another person. You will still be your soul. This is the real you. This is the real you. Not any of this. Yeah? In the, in the, uh, the introduction, you know how you got like um, God's children and there's a cluster of souls all together. Are they sitting in a specific spot in accordance to planets, or are they just a general spot they all sit in, and they just go to different planets around the universe? But again, you're thinking very physically, and the question is, is, is like, we're talking about the soul, and now we've got onto a question that's about your intellect again. Yeah. Do you see that? Can you see? What you're trying to do now is you're trying to understand some physical things about the intellect, about the soul, but in, rea in reality, when you let yourself feel your soul, a lot of these answers will come to you automatically and you will not need to ask me. <coughs> It'll just come to you. Bang, bang, bang. How many, how many has that happened to you already? Where you've had a question one day with me, you didn't get the chance to ask it, you allowed yourself to sit on it emotionally, you let yourself feel, you connected with God about the question, and bang, mm -hmm. yeah. you realise, oh, I know what the answer is now. Or somebody else asked the question. Or somebody else asked, or whatever <coughs> happened, right? Why does all that happen? Because this, it's happening all at the soul level, right? So, so the question, although like a valid question, how does it help our discussion at the moment? I can give you the answer. It's in there actually. But I know it's part. It's part of my nature. It's really. So let's go into the nature of, of you. Your nature is to understand things here before you allow yourself to feel them here. That's the nature. That's the area that if, that if you can do the most work on that. That's what's going to help you understand all things. <coughs> you understand what I'm saying? So what would you suggest to do if you're very minor oriented or you're seeking, seeking wisdom and knowledge all the time? And yeah, there's no harm in seeking wisdom and knowledge. Firstly, let me say that. There's no harm in that. But if it's taking me away from this, now there's harm. So I should ask why is why is it taking me away? Well, the question first is, why do I want wisdom on it rather than just feeling it? Why, why do I want to know about it rather than experiencing it? See, here's the experiential part of us. This is the part of us that observes the experience. Yeah, because I feel like I learn best once I have all the facts and I'm, and I'm observing something. No, you don't. You actually learn best when you allow all your emotions. That's the only time you learn something. So you really talk about pecking order, aren't you? <clears throat> Because one's a product of the other and the other's a product of the other, so it's just the means of obtaining information. It's, it's like if you... I, I believe in um, um, a logical intuition. In other words, I'll get intuitiveness about something and then I'll intellectually fill in the space. Exactly. People try to intellectually create something and then identify it backwards. Exactly. But, the, but all, all knowledge come through, through the soul. It will and not, and all the true knowledge. And only pieces it together in word format so that other people can understand it. Exactly. All true knowledge comes through this method. Yeah. All through this method, not through this. When we're focused on this, we're, we're trying to get away from this because there's emotions inside of us that say, I can't feel until I know what I'm going to feel. <laughs> <laughs> How many of you are afraid of what you're going to feel? So you choose to not feel. How many of you are afraid of what you're going to feel? And so you need to know first what it's going to be. How many of you have actually come up and asked me, what emotion do I have inside of me? And my question often comes back, why do you want to know? <laughs> why can't you just feel it? Like, I can feel your emotion, so why can't you? you know what I mean? <laughs> the reason why you can't is because this thing is going on all the time. Get away, you need to get away from this thing and back into this thing. So do, do I need to have a, a really massive emotional <coughs> breakdown to make that, to bring me down to the... Now we got to say no. <laughs> I'm going to ask you why you asked that question. <laughs> but can you see the motive behind the question? What's the intention behind the question? Knowing something. You want to know what it's going to be like before you do it. That's the only motive behind your question. Right? Many of you want to know what all this divine love stuff is going to feel like before you do it. And you know what? 
I can't tell you any of that because it's only going to be what it is for you when you begin experiencing it and feeling it. Mm -hmm. 